I'm Greg Aldavini with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here with Leslie Bradshaw, the Chief Operating Officer of Guide. And we're here to talk about data, okay? Leslie, big data is a hot term these days. What is it? Well, big data, I think the most important thing for people to think about is that it's more of a dynamic than it is a thing. So by that I mean data gets captured and then aggregated and then analyzed mm -hmm. and then parsed out and then communicated. And that, that whole cycle is actually what big data is. Is big data changing the way companies are doing business? In some cases, big data, if you have a big enough data set, it will actually change the way you do, do business. Think about a company like, let's say, IBM, right? right they're right. they're something that they're collecting so much information. Their whole business is actually built on helping businesses make smarter decisions based on point of sale insights, based on certain behaviors customers are, are enacting. You can also think about companies like, let's say, BMW. They actually monitor through their computer system on the car and they understand based on the data they're collecting when that car needs servicing, mm -hmm. right? So there's, there's an intelligence piece that adds more efficiency to business and also uh, kind of brings together information that may have been unknown otherwise into a very, very known, very finite set. As, as more and more data accumulates, um, what are some of the biggest challenges to managing that data? Can it become overwhelming at some point? Or? Oh, absolutely. I, mean, I think it's just inherent in the, the word big data is the word big in front of it. And I, think, I think data can be an intimidating concept in general because that some, it connotes, oh, there's math and there's, there's storage and there's a lot of elements to it. Uh, you know, I, I look at a lot of companies that are actually data dumping. They collect so much data that they don't have enough storage space to collect it all. And uh, you know, my last company was a data visualization agency, and we had really high spikes in our Amazon Web Service bills during the months where we were processing a lot of tweets and other social data for our clients. And I can only imagine if, if we're just a small business doing, you know, let's say five, six million dollars in revenue, what are the companies doing billions of dollars in revenue doing with their big data sets? So I think it's a storage challenge. I think the other thing is what are we collecting it for, mm -hmm. right? And uh, there's this great line from Life is Beautiful with um, uh, Antonio Benini, and he, he's making kind of light of a tough situation. He's carrying this anvil, and there's all these people carrying this anvil, and he looks around and he says, why so many anvils, right? And I think that's the question too, why so much, you know, why so much data, and what are we doing with it? Right. And, and then kind of the third piece, so we've got this, the storage challenge, what are we doing with it? And then also the, the veracity of the data. And, and usually there's the three V's of uh, big data. There's volume, variety, and velocity. But there's a fourth one that's been kind of added, that the veracity and the truth of it, because people can manipulate information. And the more you have, the more chances you have to potentially get it wrong or tell it in your own light. So you have to kind of be careful with the integrity of the information. I would think that how we use big data, an answer would be to identify new customers or to better service your existing customers. Are companies doing that well with this data? Are they, are they uh, connecting better with potential and existing customers? The single best example that I feel as a customer I've experienced is Amazon. Over time, I've been shopping at Amazon for, gosh, I don't know, years, maybe even close to a decade. And they know me very well and they're always recommending interesting content based on what my past decisions have been. On the flip side, I go to some websites, uh, I'm not going to name any names, but I feel like I'm going on 50 first dates with that website because I think to myself, I've been here before, I'm logged in, you have my purchase history, why are you not serving up something that's relevant to me? Mm -hmm. And the more that you serve something relevant to me, the more likely I'm going to be engaged and be more likely to make a purchase. So I think there's some people doing it really well, I think mm -hmm. there's some people behind the times that eventually I think will evolve in that direction because it's, it's just the right thing to do for business and it's the right thing to do for the customer. Right. Thanks, Leslie. Thanks a lot.